Daha and Skein algebra on surfaces. Uh, please. Okay. Thank you for invitation. Uh, today, I want to talk about the double uh, affine hectare algebra and the skin, uh, relationship between the double affine hectare algebra and the skin algebra on surfaces. So, uh, let's start from my motiv motivations. So, uh, I, my interest is in the explicit form of quantum invariance of knots and three manifolds. Uh, I mean, the, especially, uh, I have interest in uh, number theoretic uh, uh, structure of quantum invariance. Recently, it is called quantum modular form, and uh, it has a very uh, nice, uh, beautiful uh, structures. And to construct uh, the quantum invariant, it, uh, the uh, Important tool is scan algebra. Uh, it is developed by uh, Kaufman, and it is call, called Kaufman bracket scan algebra. Uh, the relationship is just these two, uh, two uh, relations. A is uh, undeterminate, and uh, uh, we can uh, uh, solve, solve the uh, overcrossing to, into these two terms. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, using this scan algebra, we can construct the quantum invariant uh, of the uh, knots. And uh, using the quantum invariant of knots, we can construct three manifold, uh, quantum invariant for three manifolds. So to study the quantum modular forms, uh, it is usually uh, useful to construct a refined version of quantum invariant. Uh, this is because uh, in some point of view, th this quantum modular form can be regarded as a, a variant of Jacobi forms, and uh, we need some, uh, it, it is useful if we have another uh, variables. So, uh, so to in include uh, such uh, another parameters, uh, it is, uh, uh, from my viewpoint, uh, double affine hectare algebra is uh, very uh, uh, seems to be uh, promising, and uh, also the uh, cluster. Uh, all of you are experts of cluster algebra, and uh, this cl cluster algebra is also useful to study the uh, quantum invariant of uh, not and three manifold. Okay, especially the the uh, cluster algebra is. Uh, uh, in cluster algebra, uh, dialogarithm function is ubiquitous, and uh, this dialogarithm function is related to hyperbolic volume of knots. So this is uh, this cluster algebra is also uh, very uh, useful to study the quantum invariant. So I want to show some examples. So let's start from the uh, one function. The torus. Uh -huh, this is the punctured torus. Uh, here we have a puncture, and uh, on this uh, surface we ah sorry uh, the scan algebra on on this uh, once punctured surface is known to be generated by x y z, and x uh, uh, every three are simple closed curves. Uh, depicted uh, here. I mean, x is uh, this one, and y is uh, this circle, and uh, z is uh, this one. I mean, uh, you see uh, this closed circle, uh, closed curves. Uh, these three, uh, uh, we have uh, several relationship between these three curves. So, for example, using the uh, scan algebra, we know that the X and uh, commutator like this one uh, generates Z. And in the same manner, uh, we have two other relationships which can be uh, derived by cyclic permutations of X, Y, Z. I mean, the replacing X by Y and Okay, so replacing, uh, I mean, uh, this relationship. 
uh, in these relations, we do not have B. Uh, B means the uh, boundary curves here. And B is generated from uh, X, Y, Z by this, for, uh, by this identity. Uh, all, th all these identities uh, can be simply derived from the scan algebra. So this is a uh, famous example of a uh, Kaufman bracket scan algebra on one span torus. So to realize the uh, sorry this... for the third term uh, in B, shall it be a squared or a to the minus two? Fair. Huh? Uh, the third term here. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, a minus square. I think, uh, <laughs> as far as I remember, uh, so yeah. it's not symmetrical uh, regarding yeah, X, yeah, Y, Z. Yeah, 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 be, uh, because X, Y, Z is not uh, uh, commutative. So yes, yes, it's uh, not oh. symmetrical. Exactly. So correct formulas. Oh, yeah. I see. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is because X, Y. Uh, X, Y, Z is not commutative, so uh, these are not symmetric. Mm -hmm. to, okay, so to realize these uh, uh, relations in terms of cluster algebra, uh, uh, this was developed by uh, these guys. Uh, and uh, this cluster, cluster algebra uh, can, can be uh, uh, derived from uh, triangulations of uh, uh, one's punctured torus. Uh, this is a uh, uh, de developing map of torus. I mean the uh, uh, the vertices denote the uh, punctures on the torus. And uh, please identify uh, this edge with uh, this edge with this one, and uh, this this edge with this one. And uh, in this uh, developing picture, a uh, developing map, uh, the these uh, crossed curves can be written by this one, x and y and z. And uh, and uh, the triangulations of uh, this punctured surface gives uh, uh, this quiver. And uh, for each, for every vertex, uh, we assign a y, uh, y variables. Uh, I mean here, I, I here mean uh, quantum cluster algebra and uh, the relationship uh, uh, is given by this one. And in terms of uh, y variables, uh, these uh, closed, simple closed curves can be written by this one. Uh, for example, x is uh, written by this one, and y, z uh, can be derived in the same manner. And if we set uh, x, y, z by this, then we can recognize uh, these uh, x, y, z satisfy these relationships. So, so to, to study the uh, hyperbolic volume of uh, uh, not exterior, something like a uh, figure eight knot. Uh, this uh, expression can be useful, but uh, to study the explicit form of quantum invariant of, of uh, assigned to each curve, uh, it is uh, difficult for me to find some uh, information for quantum invariant. And also the for me, uh, it, it seems very difficult to study the higher rank case and also a higher genus scale. So uh, uh, in this talk, I pay attention to the double affine hex algebra. So this is just a comment for the uh, experts in uh, cluster algebra. I think, I, I think uh, all of you uh, know well about these uh, constructions. Okay, let's shift to the uh, double affine Heck algebra. So uh, there are many double affine Heck algebra, but here I study the simplest case, A1 type. Uh, here I denote HQT and Q and T are parameters. 
Uh, this algebra is generated by t, x, and y with uh, this relation. This is Heck algebra, and uh, we, we, we need uh, three more uh, uh, relations. So hereafter, we pay attention to the, to the spherical version of double affine Heck algebra defined by this quotient of the uh, double affine Heck algebra. Here, E is idempotent defined by this one. Okay, this is uh, uh, the simplest uh, examples of double affine Heck algebra. Ah, and uh, the well known is the polynomial representations of uh, this uh, affine Heck, uh, double affine Heck algebra. And uh, in, in this representation, the uh, Heck operator T is uh, written by this one. Here, S means the actions of uh, reflection. I, I, uh, S sent uh, inverse of EX. Okay, so, so this is the definition of S, and uh, in terms of S, uh, we have, uh, we can, uh, this large T satisfy this one. And uh, the Y, uh, uh, gen generator Y can be defined by this one. Uh, here, D is a uh, shift operator acting on Q shift operators. So uh, this is a known pol uh, polynomial re representation of uh, the A1 type Daha. So important fact is that the uh, famous McDonald polynomials MN is uh, just an uh, eigenfunction of uh, this one, y plus y inverse, uh, with the eigenvalue, this one. So uh, this is a Roland polynomial of uh, x and uh, 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 and symmetric under the symmetric under x uh, and x inverse. Okay, so for this uh, double affine Heck algebra, uh, it is known the uh, SL to the uh, actions on this double uh, a one type Daha. Uh, this means uh, tau r uh, acts on the daha by this one. Uh, I mean the x and y, uh, x and t, large t, is invariant and uh, these actions. And tau l uh, acts on x by this one, but the uh, y and t uh, is uh, uh, invariant. So uh, this is a well-known result of the A1 type Daha. Uh, from the cross algebra viewpoint, uh, this automorphism is just some uh, mutations for this uh, quivers. So this is a known re result of the uh, of uh, A1 type Daha. Okay, in terms of Daha, uh, the simple closed curve X, Y, Z uh, can be written in terms of the generators X, Y, and uh, this one, uh, X, Y. So uh, using these expressions, uh, we find that the, uh, uh, this, uh, these scan relations, uh, uh, we, we can we can check that the, the scan relations uh, can be uh, uh, fulfilled uh, by setting this one. I mean the uh, I he, uh, here I I denote simple closed curve by uh, coprime integer r and s. I mean the this is a slope. Uh, X is just a one zero and Y is zero one and Z is one one. And uh, these curves uh, can be regarded as a slope, uh, can be regarded as a closed curve with slope S over R. 
And from the viewpoint, uh, if we uh, regard, uh, if if we regard the uh, Higard splitting uh, of the uh, S three, uh, this 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 closed uh, simple closed curve can be regarded as, as a torus knot. I mean, the R and S denote the uh, winding number. Uh, 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 R denotes a uh, uh, winding number uh, for the meridian, and uh, S denotes the longitude, uh, winding number for long longitude direction. Okay, the, the important fact is that the uh, cro uh, boundary curve, B denotes the boundary curve here. I mean, the B is here. And the B is generated by this one. And in this setting, uh, this B can be written just uh, in terms of T and Q. This is a, so this is the center of uh, the, I, I will use this fact later. So please recall that the uh, boundary uh, curve can be written in terms of Q, T and Q. Excuse me, this C, uh, they're just uh, traces of the corresponding monodromy operators or? Yeah, 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 you are right, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so uh, uh, before I said that the, uh, Automorphism is uh, is uh, SL two D, uh, and uh, in this picture, ah, uh, from the viewpoint of uh, mapping class group, uh, ah, ah, sorry, <laughs> this, this automorphism of the uh, Daha can be regarded as a mapping class group. I mean the Tauer tends to uh, tower means a uh, tower sends uh, towers uh, sends x to y x. So this means that the uh, roughly speaking uh, tower uh, sends x to z. I mean the one one. So this corresponds to the then then twist. Uh, around the uh, curve Y. I mean, the dent twist is just, uh, uh, please, uh, one, we cut, uh, we cut this uh, tube uh, by this uh, circle and then uh, rotate uh, to pi and then grew, grew again. So this curve uh, becomes this one. So this is the definition of the end twist. Uh, the direction of rotation may, might be uh, opposite to the usual case, but uh, in, in this talk, I, I use uh, these directions. So in, in the same manner, uh, the tower, I mean the tower corresponds to y sent to x, y. Uh, this means uh, 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 then twist around uh, X cover. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, so to construct the quantum invariant from the uh, uh, in terms of Daha, uh, the method is developed by Cheredon. Uh, he con he proposed that the uh, uh, he proposed this function p. Uh, I mean the, here m n is just a uh, uh, McDonald polynomials as an eigenfunction of y, and uh, for each uh, simple closed curve we we have uh, operators of uh, 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 which is written in terms of the x y. So so in terms of r. Uh, he proposed uh, the Daha polynomials for torus knot uh, defined by this one. So by this definition, we have uh, three parameters. 
And so this is this can be regarded as a refined version of quantum invariant. And uh, he found a relationship with the Carrado Jones polynomials. I mean, the by setting x and t to q, uh, this polynomial uh, this polynomial uh, reduces to the Carrado Jones polynomials for torus. Okay, so but uh, up up to now, uh, Cheritonic method uh, applies only for torus nodes. So there are no general generalizations for Daha polynomials for higher genus case. Uh, only some attempts for genus two case was developed by Arsam Monov and Shakirov, but. Uh, for me, uh, the relationship with the Carado Jones polynomials uh, uh, of the uh, de uh, constructed by the method uh, is not known, I think. So I want to uh, generalize the Cherenonic method to higher genus cases. So as a first step, uh, I, I tried to construct the uh, to construct the quantum invariant for double torus node. Uh, this, is, this is a terminology from uh, Professor Murasugi, uh, just a simple uh, double torus node uh, means a simple closed curve on the on genus to torus. Uh, examples is uh, written here. I mean, the, uh, this line is uh, a uh, simple closed curve on the genus two case. Okay. So my idea is to glue or glue daha. I mean the A one type glue A one type and the C one type to construct this one. So this is my idea to construct the uh, quantum uh, daha polynomials for uh, double torus. So next, I want to show you a uh, daha of C1 type. Okay. So uh, this uh, C1 type algebra daha is also uh, is often called as uh, ASCII Wilson type. And uh, the, we have uh, uh, we have five parameters uh, except Q. We have four parameters: T zero, T one, T two, T three. And we have uh, four Hecke relations: T zero, T one, and T zero V, T one V, with the constraint by this one. Also, we we use a spherical versions of uh, Daha. Uh, defined by this one, e, e is also an uh, idempotent defined by this one. Okay, uh, th this is a, uh, <laughs> these are definitions and we omit the uh, polynomial representation, uh, we omit uh, definitions of polynomial representations, but they exist and actually the uh, Askew-Wilson polynomial uh, PM, uh, I denote PM here as the eigenfunctions of uh, Y. I, uh, here, Y is just a product of T1, T0, and uh, uh, here, X is uh, coming from uh, this one. So, anyway, uh, we have the uh, polynomial representations of C1 type algebra. And also for this Daha, the uh, automorphism can be regarded as the uh, SL to the actions uh, defined by this one. Uh, this is essentially, this is a, a permutation of T0 and T0, T0 V. I mean, the exchange of uh, these two. And sigma Okay, so this is just a algebraic structure, but to see the uh, topological property, we pay attention to the 
four punctured sphere. I mean, the Kaufman bracket scan algebra on the four punctured spheres. Uh, uh, this algebra is uh, developed by, uh, studied in detail by uh, Tulzitsky. Okay, for, for this one, we denote the boundary circles, B1, B2, B3. Uh, this denotes uh, there are four uh, punctures on the sphere. And uh, also we denote the simple closed curve X and Y and Z. Also by using the scaling algebra, uh, we find that the commutation relations between X and Y can be written by this one. We only write these equations, but uh, simply we have a similar uh, relations with this one, replacing uh, x by z, and uh, we omit here. And also, we have uh, this. We have this uh, a bit complicated uh, uh, constraints among b one, b two, b three, b four, and x y. Uh, here, b one, three, two. Four means uh, uh, this type of ex expressions. Uh, this means uh, this one. Okay, th th this is a uh, scan algebra on four punctured spheres. So, uh, as far as I understand, uh, the relationship with the double affine Heck algebra of ASCII Wilson type was found by Obromko. I think uh, he, he studied the Q equal one case, but uh, uh, anyway, he, he found that uh, these relations can be uh, sat satisfied if we set X, Y, Z by this one. And also B1, B2, B3, uh, which denotes the uh, boundary circle, uh, is just a parameters. Uh, essentially, uh, t t zero and t two t one t three. We, we we have some shift here, but uh, anyway, uh, the four parameters of x uh, in, in ASCII Wilson type correspond to the uh, 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 boundary circles for of each punctured. Okay, so uh, as in the case of the uh, once punctured torus, uh, we can identify this uh, simple closed curve with, uh, 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 sorry, uh, we can classify the simple closed curve on sphere but with uh, uh, slope. I mean, uh, this is uh, the, uh, this picture is uh, not a torus but a pillowcase. I mean, the uh, four corners correspond to the four punctures on the spheres. And the, uh, for example, so X is just a simple closed curve around this direction, and Y means a closed curve around this direction. And Z is, is just uh, this one. So each curve can be regarded as a simple closed curve with slope one zero and zero one and one. Okay. Okay. Th this is our uh, uh, introduction of the uh, rank one uh, Dahar A one type and uh, ASCII Wilson type. Okay, so my motive, uh, my aim is to construct the uh, higher genus uh, Daha assigned to the higher genus B. So uh, I want to study the uh, scan algebra on genus two surface. So on genus two surface, uh, we define the uh, simple closed curve X U Y U and uh, 
y, y d, x d. And also y tilde denotes this one. And also x is here. Okay, uh, so using the uh, scaling, uh, scaling relations, uh, we can write explicitly the relationship between the between these these simple curves, closed curves. Okay, to uh, to represent these curves in terms of the uh, uh, daha, we regard this surface in two ways. One way is to regard this genus uh, 2 surface as a, a growing of two once punctured torus. I mean, uh, these are once punctured torus with uh, boundary circle X. And uh, we have also another uh, uh, once punctured for us with the boundary circle X. So uh, this uh, genus to surface can be regarded uh, by this one. And also uh, this uh, closed surface can be regarded as uh, 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 by this one. I, I mean, we have a uh, uh, four punctured sphere here with the boundary circle uh, XU and XD. Okay, so to construct the uh, uh, the representation for these simple closed curves, uh, we employ uh, these two two views. I mean the I mean x and y uh, can be maybe related to the uh, C one type ASCII Wilson type operators, and uh, also uh, y u and the, XU corresponds to the A1 type daha. So, in view of the A1 type daha, uh, this X is uh, corresponds to the uh, boundary circle. So, I said before, so the parameter T should be regarded as the uh, boundary circle. I mean, the in my setup, uh, uh, boundary circle B uh, is, uh, uh, is written in terms of T and Q. So the parameter T should be regarded as the boundary circle. So in this picture, uh, this X uh, should be related to the X. And in this picture, this X is just a, a X parameters of ASCII Wilson polynomials and Y should be a, a eigen a, a Hamiltonian operators for the ASCII Wilson polynomial. Okay, so this is a naive, naive uh, uh, construction. But uh, 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 detailed uh, computations uh, shows that the, we should have a consistency relation between uh, y and uh, these y. Uh, oh, okay, so so in this uh, genus two surface, uh, y and y u uh, intersect each other, so the relationship between y and y u is not. Uh, trivial. Also, the relationship between y and y d is not trivial. So we should have a, a consistency relations between y and y u. So, uh, for example, we can write the consistency con condition like this one. And also, we we need a, a several other uh, relations between y and y u. And also we we have uh, 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 okay <laughs> okay so so naive definition does not satisfy this relationship 
but uh, if we uh, transform the uh, uh, if we take a conjugation of uh, skew Wilson operators by this function g defined by this one uh, g so g is just a quantum dialogarism functions so by take a conjugation of ASCII Wilson operators. So we find, we found that the, uh, these consistency relations uh, can be uh, uh, fulfilled uh, with uh, this setting. Uh, explicitly, uh, the uh, XU, I mean, the, uh, we call the uh, uh, definitions of closed curve, uh, XU. Uh, and y u and x and y should be a uh, uh, a one type uh, and uh, x d and y d should should come from the another a one type another copy of a one type daha. so explicitly uh, x is regarded by this one and why u is just um, uh, a one type McDonald operator, difference operators. Okay, so we omit here, but xd is uh, just uh, xd plus xd inverse, and yd is just um, just become the uh, McDonald operator for xd. Then uh, x is just uh, can be written. Uh, X is just a boundary curve of A1 type Daha, so it is written by this one. And uh, then Y, it should be a ASCII Wilson operator assigned to X uh, with uh, uh, conjugations by G. Then explicitly, uh, this curve uh, can be uh, written by this one. So, I'm sorry. Uh, do this G have to have anything to do with the day twists along some cycles? Pardon? Uh, do this G that you conjugate by have to do anything with day twists along some cycles? Uh, this G? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, the, 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 yeah, this G. Uh, I I mean uh. Mm, I mean the uh, scan, scan relation between X and Y should be uh, uh, is the same for uh, ASCII Wilson type. So, so we want to keep uh, ASCII Wilson type representations. So I just uh, insert G in terms of X and XU. This is just an assumption uh, of my settings. So anyway, if we define this uh, function g like this one, uh, we find we found that the uh, uh, these consistency relations uh, are such, uh, fulfilled. Okay, thank you. Sorry, what is this notation? Brackets and uh, infinity. This one, hmm? yeah. So in the, yeah. Uh, 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 this, this is just a uh, 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 notation of uh, Q analysis. I I mean the. Ah okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, uh, it, it, yeah. It, yeah. Quantum dialoguing function, yeah. open core, yeah. uh, yeah. quantum dialoguing function. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so so to uh, so to construct this white tilde, uh, this is this is just a, a closed curve like this one. So we use a then twist. I mean the uh, y is just a closed curve this uh, denoted here, and uh, if we take a then twist uh, y u and y d inverse, 
I mean the uh, y u is here and y d is here. So by take a then twist along this y u and y d, uh, this curve uh, is changed to this expression. Then we further apply the uh, then twist around x u and x d. And x u is uh, here, and x d is here. So this curve, this curve becomes uh, this curve. Then actually, uh, this curve uh, is uh, identified with y tilde. So it, we can write explicitly the uh, Daha uh, operators, uh, Daha uh, representation for y tilde. Uh, I omit the definition here, but uh, it can be, uh, uh, we can uh, write explicitly the uh, operate, uh, Daha operators assigned for y tilde. So in, in this computation, we, we use the uh, conjugation operator U R. Uh, I mean the uh, defined by this one. Tau R is just uh, SL to the actions of on S uh, A1 type Daha, but uh, this tau can be expressed uh, as a conjugation operator in terms of U R. Uh, this, this operator was. Uh, 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 was written in Cheredonik's book, but uh, for AN type, I found the, uh, the results in the paper by uh, the branches and Kevin. I, I found the, uh, they, among audience, I found them. Yeah, anyway, uh, in, in these computations, I employ the, uh, this conjugation operators. Then anyway, uh, we can check uh, that the uh, scaling relations among uh, y tilde and uh, uh, y tilde intersect with x so we, uh, and x u. So we, we have uh, uh, non-trivial relations among these uh, simple curves, but this ex ex uh, we, we found that these expressions uh, satisfy such constraint. Uh, I have a question. Uh, in in your Aske Wilson uh, uh, part of uh, of the double torus, um, you had four parameters: t t zero, t one, t two, t three. Or, ah, yeah. Are they specialized or? Ah, uh, uh, sorry, I, I missed. Uh, 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 to construct this one, uh, we use Husky Wilson uh, representation for this part. But the X use uh, this, uh, we have uh, four punctures here, but two punct punctures should be identified with this one. And also another two, uh, other two punctures should be identified. So, uh, sorry. Uh, we identify the four parameters with x u and x d like this one. Okay. Just, just small command. So these operators you are they also were uh, in Kashaev's paper of two thousand. Uh, these were operators. Uh, the fit, fit, fit operators. Uh, the, on the next slide. This one? Yes, 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 G. Uh, that's what you. Uh, p -p 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 no, 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 no. Uh, where we are? I don't see the bottom, unfortunately. Ah, I see. This you are. Yes, yes, yes. This you are. Uh, this? No, 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 no. On the previous, uh, p uh, previous screen. Uh, yes, so this. Uh, 
Uh, so, sorry, uh, Rita, please show. No, 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 not this. No, no, no. You are in your notations. You are. Ah, you are. Ah, I see. I see. Ah, okay. I see. Ah, ah, this one. Ah, okay. Yeah, this. I see. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. M might be. <laughs> and I have a question. So this white killed uh, this uh, uh, DTDU. They are really DTDU or they are exponentiated? That's I'm just didn't catch up. Pardon? Hmm? With these differential operators, yes. DUDD is just a difference operator. Yes, yeah, so when it's uh, in a negative power, it means that it's integration operator. What, what does it mean? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean the shift operators. So is there exponentiated? That's what uh, I was asking. Uh, no, so, so, sorry, I, I, I... Yes, Leonie, yes. It, it, it is exponentiated. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so this one. Okay. Yeah, anyway, uh, so my purpose was to construct the uh, Daha polynomial for double torus nodes. So I, I show some examples, uh, simple examples. Uh, from the, uh, for the ASCII Wilson part, we first study the uh, cro simple closed curve with the slope uh, one, two. I mean the this one. Then we uh, apply the then twist by this one, and uh, here y u and y d uh, is y u and y d. Then applying applying uh, then twist, we have uh, this one. Uh, we have this one. So this uh, simple closed curve can be identified with uh, uh, figure eight. Okay, so, so to construct the, uh, 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 for, uh, sorry, for this simple closed curve, uh, we have, we can, uh, as a, sorry, as a generalization of, <laughs> Uh, this construction, we have uh, this type of of simple closed curve. Uh, this corresponds to double twist knot. I mean, the, if if k equal to minus one, this is this is just a uh, this, this is called a twist knot. So in, anyway, uh, we have a family of infinite family of simple closed curve defined by this one. So uh, by the uh, by our construction, uh, this closed curve is uh, re represented by this one. I mean, the uh, we have uh, sorry, uh, this D is just a, a Q shift operator for X. Okay, so. Uh, from these expressions, we can we do not find a relations. We do not find a explicit relationship with uh, uh, Jones polynomials, but uh, uh, only we found that the only constant terms is related to the to the Jones polynomial. I mean, the we assign the when we assign the then twist for the constant term. Uh, we get these expressions. And here, mk is just a, a rational function uh, defined by this one. After setting uh, this one, we found uh, these expressions for inside with uh, Jones polynomial. So, so this uh, result shows that our Daha polynomial can be regarded as a uh, generalizations of uh, uh, Jones polynomials. Okay, so for colored Jones polynomials, 
I mean, uh, we found that uh, by con considering the uh, nth power of uh, simple closed part and setting uh, this, uh, these parameters to the, uh, this one, we found that the Zaha polynomials are reduced to the color beyond polynomial. So, so anyway, uh, I, I, I think uh, this contraction is uh, give the generalization of Cherezonic Zaha uh, polynomials for torus nodes. But uh, I don't know why uh, only constant term uh, is related to the joint polynomials. I, I don't know. Uh, in the torus node case, uh this is uh full representation is related to the uh colored zones polynomials but I, I don't know why uh only the uh constant term is related to the uh Jones polynomials. Okay, so we also have another <laughs> example. When we start from the uh, simple closed curve with uh, one three, uh, with the slope one three, uh, one three is uh, this one, and also applying the uh, uh, then twist around y at y u and y d, uh, then this curve becomes <laughs> this one. Um, this is a bit complicated, but uh, this curve can be identified the, with the uh, uh, connected sum of uh, trefoil. Uh, trefoil with a mirror image of trefoil. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, this knot is open regarded, uh, uh, is called square knot, but uh, anyway, uh, but from this construction, we recover the, uh, this type of knot. And as a generalization, we also have the, uh, we, we can consider the, uh, then twist, k, k times then twist and L times then twist. And then the uh, expression is a bit complicated, but, but uh, uh, can be written by this one. And we found that the, this uh, expression coincides with the Jones polynomials for this one and other under generalizations of uh, this type of knot. Yeah, so, so to, as a summary, uh, in this talk, I, I think I've, I, I propose the method to construct the Daha polynomials for uh, double torus knot. Uh, this includes uh, uh, infinite family of knots, and especially uh, including a hyperbolic knot, which is uh, important for uh, hyperbolic geometry. And uh, I think uh, our Daha polynomials can be regarded as the uh, general uh, refined versions of uh, Jones polynomials and uh, and, uh, and colored Jones polynomials. So I, I want to study another <laughs> type of uh, double torus knot. But uh, in fact, the class classifications of double torus knot is not uh, complete, and uh, I, I'm not sure how to uh, fa find such classifications of double torus knot. Okay, so in this talk, I only, uh, I, I mainly studied the Daha aspects of quantum invariant, but uh, I think uh, the cluster algebraic study of uh, this uh, quantum invariant should be uh, interesting topics. And also uh, for the, from the viewpoint uh, of Daha, uh, it is interesting to study the higher rank case of, the, of these constructions. So anyway, in, in this talk, I want to propose uh, the constructions for higher genus cases. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I stop here. And, uh, Professor Sakana for great talk, so. Um, time for questions. Kind of, uh, 
more questions? Uh, so you um, have. I, I actually wanted to ask. Um, uh, there's this work of uh, Artamonov and Shakirov where they try to construct, they attempt to construct some um, uh, some version of DACA for uh, genus two surface. Do, yes. do you know if it's related to? Well, uh, I'll say. Uh, do you know any explicit relation between the operators you consider and what they write about? No, <laughs> so, sorry, I don't know. Katsuhiro, uh, I have a question. So, uh, for, uh, I, I believe that in your counting of these uh, torus nodes and nodes on higher genus surfaces, you need smooth surfaces, not uh, surfaces with punctures to, to declare that you have real uh, not invariant. Uh -huh. Right? Or is it correct? Uh, I, I mean, the. So, but when uh, you need to make the transition somewhere from, uh, because if you have a surface with puncture, the puncture is an obstacle, so you cannot, so because you have non, non, non trivial. Monodromy around it. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. in order to have the complete uh, group of invariants, I think, uh, yeah. no, so you have to somehow uh, erase this puncture at some point. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, it, it's a question. Is it true or it, it's not? Or it's uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you are correct, but the uh, anyway, I, 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 mm. but I think your first example was uh, torus with puncture, right? Yes, you, you have this parameter B, which is exactly what, yeah, yeah, have. yeah, yeah, yes. So, uh, in uh, in the first example that Kazahira started with, so you have this parameter B, which is exactly uh, encodes monodromy around the punch. Right, and then you somehow have to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but the, uh, from the... Uh, that, uh, Okay, so maybe it's more maybe it's more or less automatic in uh, Daha. I, I'm I'm not uh, very much familiar with this, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so I I don't know. Is it isn't it true that you rewrite this B in terms of these Daha parameters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the, the, there's no T parameters in the scan algebra, so 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 there, there's some meaning for the uh, for another refined versions of uh, invariance. So in the in this uh, simplest case, uh, T denotes the uh, uh, simple closed curve around the punctures. So so. So uh, I, I think another uh, parameters uh, include some information uh, of uh, such uh, uh, yeah <laughs> such geometry geometrical in, uh, information. Mm -hmm. mm. um, Lenny, you have more questions or? Yeah. Well, it's. Um... Because still there, there are these parameters for full punctured sphere, uh, sphere and then uh, and, um, and then they, 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 they somehow uh, well, maybe maybe it's my personal confusion. So mm -hmm. um, okay. okay. Um, any more yeah. questions? Um, May I also ask, so can you say a few words about this uh, kind of, you, you mentioned some relation to cluster algebra at the very end, so can you kind of give more details on that or? Mm, yeah, yeah, I, I only know the <laughs> cluster algebraic representations of this scan algebra. Uh, 
So I, I, I want to know about the relationship between cluster algebra and quantum invariant. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean uh, it is possible to construct the uh, cluster algebraic expressions for these scan algebras. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it's yeah, yeah, that, that is based on the, yeah, right. I think the Bonahon one work uh, is very useful to construct the uh, representation for this scan algebra. But uh, I think it is possible to construct the uh, scan algebra representation for this scan algebra, but uh, I don't know how to construct the relationship with the uh, Jones polynomials and uh, colored Jones polynomials. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, the hyperbolic volume for, uh, for the not but uh, will be uh, possible uh, when we use cluster algebra because the uh, dialogue function is very familiar with the, uh, it, it denotes the uh, hyperbolic volume of uh, uh, ideal tetrahedron. So uh, I think the uh, cluster algebra will be useful for such studies, but the, I'm not sure how to apply the cluster algebra. Uh, for the explicit form of uh, quantum invariant, maybe including Carado Jones or something like that. Mm -hmm. And to, w one more question, it, uh, kind of just wake. So, did you try to do like uh, genus free or kind of higher genus? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, the uh, If we uh, use this one, yes, uh, this this is a two punctured torus. So we can grow uh, this two punctured torus with another. Uh, another punctured torus. Yes, we can grow. So, so it is possible to construct such as scan algebra, but uh, <laughs> I do not study explicit form or uh, explicit relation with uh, Jones polynomials and something like that. So yeah, I, I think. You yeah, think yeah, yeah. Jones polynomial is only for uh, kind of genus two, right? That, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I only checked for genus case, but. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I uh, yeah. Even in the case of genus, it is uh, is a bit complicated uh, for me. I mean, okay. I hope much much simpler, but <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, it it is a bit uh, complicated. Um, any other questions? Mm, sorry, I have one quick question. So uh, you just mentioned the hyperbolic volume. So is it uh, possible that it is encoded by some sequence of class limitations? Because uh, as you mentioned, this dialogue. Yeah, 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 in the case of two bridge not uh, and something like that, uh, it is, uh, uh, it can be constructed uh from the mutations yeah but mm -hmm. I, I don't know about the uh, another <laughs> uh surfaces I, I don't know okay yeah thank uh, you at, at least for the four punctured cases uh four punctured sphere uh, they are related to the uh two bridge knot and uh, it is possible yeah mm -hmm. uh, philip wrote something that uh, maybe he can so, it, it, it was actually quite a private message, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry about that. It was a private uh, question. Mm, okay, yeah, so I thought you were answering this uh, Lin <laughs> uh, Okay, so yeah, let's... Uh, Thank uh, Professor Hikami again so for a great talk and uh
So, uh, thank, thank you for attention. Yeah. Uh, my, my ask you kind of sent me uh, not by email, so I, I hope you don't mind we um, kind of post it on uh, website. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much and uh, see you next week then. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.